All right, so today uh, I want to show you this small uh, flight control system that I've been working on. And you can see, so I have uh, my QX7 here, and so you do the throttle. Uh, we can see the motor working perfectly smoothly, and the ailerons full swing, good, and the elevator, yeah, may, might need to cut that out a little bit, but it works pretty well, and the rudder here, uh, there we go, works quite well, and so I just want to talk a little bit about the actual flight control system here, it's pretty simple, it just uses an Arduino Nano, because it's small and I can solder it to some spare protoboard that I had lying around. It uses an FR Sky XM Plus, so that's that little green thing with the two antennas sticking out of it. And underneath it is a MPU 6050 gyroscope and accelerometer unit. I haven't connected that up yet because um, that's kind of for another day. But essentially, what this thing is doing is it's reading the S bus the Futaba S-Bus protocol from the XM Plus and uh, it uses the inverter mod. So what that means is S-Bus is usually an inverted protocol but there's a uh, there's a transistor on board that allows you to get the uninverted S-Bus. So I, um, I'm grabbing the S-Bus, uninverted S-Bus signal from that, feeding that into the serial RX of the, of the Nano and I just have a, oh, okay, yeah, it just fails safe because uh, the radio system is too close to the receiver. But either way, it has a four, it has, no, it has 12 headers, so 12 pin headers, and the servos go on them. So this one is aileron, and you can see I have a splitter here, servo splitter. I have, these are the rudder and elevator. I don't know which one's which, and I'll probably need to change to that sometime. And over here is the, what is it? It's the throttle, the ESC. It also has the BEC, the battery eliminator circuit, coming from the ESC, so I don't, actually, I don't really need a, an official power distribution board because this, the BEC on this ESC is supposed to go up to three amps, and if I have a, each of these servos draws about half an amp, so it should be about two amps, and the Arduino doesn't, never really draws more than one amp, so we're well within, within that three amp range, which means I can use all the servos to their full ex extent, and I can also power the, all the electronics. So you can see underneath here, it's just kind of a jerry-rigged um, power distribution thing. Um, yeah, the soldering was, I wouldn't say it was difficult, but it was just tedious because I don't, I just had to cut, cut up servo wire and use it that way. But overall, um, I mean, this airplane was hand cut with an X-Acto knife, this one. Now, I wish I could use a laser cutter, but that'll be for another day. Um, once I get all the control control linkages up, so like these push rods here, um, then it'll then it'll just be up to fitting all the electronics and making sure everything's secured, making sure all the control surfaces are working well, and then once the center of gravity CG is perfect, then we can probably go out and fly it and test out some stuff. And eventually I want to add the stabilization, so that's what the that's why I added the gyroscope for. For future purposes. One day I might add a GPS. That's but that's um that's a little far down the road. So this is what I've been working on. I've been working very hard on it and um Actually, this is also one more thing. You know, I, it would have been possible. I wouldn't have been able to properly figure out these S-Bus signals if it weren't for this oscilloscope I 
um, received the other day. And so basically what, what I'm doing in the program here is it's kind of like pretty dirty in terms of like its implementation. But what I basically did was, what I basically did was I took the, the timings from the PWM and it went from 1000 to 2000 from the standard uh, servo signal and 1500 was the midpoint here. Five, ten, yeah, right here. But it was actually going from like 6000 to 2300. And so I just mapped, um, like scale, I scaled the signal accordingly. And then I offset it by 275 microseconds so I could get the perfect um, 1000 to 2000 microseconds. And that's where the, the map and the plus 275. And for the plus 275, I just kind of, um, what do you mean? I just kind of did trial and error on that and checking with the scope to see if it worked. And so far, I mean, it seems like it's working. No servo jitter, no, no really major problems that I can foresee other than uh, maybe trying to figure out how I can fit everything in here. So, yeah. All right. Um, hopefully, when this thing is built, I'll post a picture or something. Maybe a post some DVR if I decide to attach a camera to this or I don't know maybe I'll do something but yeah things are looking good and progress is being made